Hey everybody, welcome back to Eldorado EU4 multiplayer featuring myself, Northern Lion, as well as Quill, Aruma, and Mathis. Say hello. Hi. Hello. Hey there. Long time no see. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, it's been uh, a month. Now Ryan's done taking his vacations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, my, remind my, me, who's, who's this Ryan guy? I don't my know. My lovely vacations uh, you where know, I went to my parents' house and then was flying back from my parents' house and then had four wisdom teeth yanked from my jaw. Uh-huh. Yeah. It was yeah, a lovely yanked? vacation. Was it, was it as, as violent as that? Yeah, yeah, and that, it was. Did it hurt? A surprising deal and continues to on a on a regular basis, although hopefully it's almost over. It hurt when he pulled them? Yeah, man. I'm not looking forward to that then. Oh, you, you haven't had, had it done yet? Uh-uh, I still have all four of my wisdom teeth. Oh, okay, yeah? It well, should still be surprisingly violent. Like, they yank the shit out of that. Well, violent, that's fine, but does it hurt is the question. You, you'll yes. probably be put under. Most people do get put under. I just got lucky, I guess. <laughs> you didn't put <laughs> you under? I've heard that um, after the surgery can be worse, though, because you get the thing called dry sockets. Yes. Did, did that happen to you? Thankfully, no. Not, at least not yet, but uh, you can't, like, use a straw. You gotta, You got to make sure you're rinsing your mouth out all the time to get the food out. Lovely. Mm, it, it's a, gross, but... I see, I'm a higher form of life. I was literally born without wisdom teeth. Like, that's I just amazing. don't even have them. Yeah, I'm, I'm genetically evolved. So, <laughs> Of course, I did have one extra tooth. I had a third row tooth that they had to go in and take oh, out. Oh, a it was supernumerary. Like, yeah, a shark tooth. I was a freaking shark. That's what I was. <laughs> well, yeah. my teeth are literally too large for my jaw. And I have a big jaw, but oh, my teeth were shit. too big. So I had to get like 14 teeth pulled. Or, sorry, 12 teeth pulled. When I was like 12 years old. All right, can we? I just, I unpause and all of a sudden four pop ups. So uh, hang on. That's what you get for unpausing it. Uh, Sharja has entered a military coalition. The Kamchatels have entered a military coalition. Nizhny Novgorod no longer considers me a rival. Okay. That's a lot of changes. That's insulting. We have, yeah, and then we've gained a trade dispute against Persia. All right, I'm good. I all reset right. all my okay. countries of interest right. thing. Why did Nizhny Novgorod no longer want to be my rival? Probably because it's been a month and they forgot. <laughs> when you reload a game, they recalculate all their shit. And even though it costs them 100 Diplo points to change their rivals, they're like, oh, it's worth it. Yeah, USA, Hurons, Orleans. It's good that Nizhny and the Hurons hate each other. That's good. Yeah. How do I, I remove something from the HRE here? Oh, it has and to be uh, cord first. It has to be cord first. Got it. Mexico is demanding a couple of unlawful territories. I laughed at them. Oh, yeah. Peed and peed in their general direction. HRE Emperor Mexico. Yeah. I, I'm i so lost. It's been three <laughs> weeks since I played. It's been a month, man. Well, we almost played without you last week there. We told Game us to close. go, and I was like, it's perfect time for us to attack Finlandia. Yeah, you should have. I <laughs> Dismantle him without him being here. The Emperor is getting his teeth removed, so we can't make any calls. <laughs> well, I'm just a king right now. Oh. I'm just a king, and life is a nightmare. It's simple plan. You know they're Canadian. Cool. Excellent. <laughs> All right. That, <laughs> that was a flop. Is it, I don't this know is a musical thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You don't know Simple Plan, Quill? Yeah, of course I know Simple Plan. All right. I was going to suggest... I couldn't let you it. know on the fly make a and give you an example of one of their songs necessarily, <laughs> but I know I know them. They have uh, "How Could This Happen to Me," the famous one. Uh huh. All right, Not I've successfully enough. started fabricating a claim. I'm playing E4 again. <laughs> Is uh, any any um, coalitions against you yet? I don't think so, but honestly, I think I forgot how to check. I went to like view my country in diplomacy <laughs> mode, and there's no like there's no flag with the sword through it, so I think I'm doing pretty well. You've got a couple people who are like orange colored. I guess that means they're thinking about it. I don't know. They what is probably that? We have enough aggressive again? expansion. It's the coalition map. Coalition mode. map you mode. Your, you click on your country. Yeah. Oh, the coalition. The potential coalition, assuming you stay out of it, is too small to stop me. I think. Even Ashanti. I've got my own shit to deal with right now. I don't think you've ever had any issue with the Coalition this whole campaign. You've I had, had two. Uh, I had one scary situation that I think I got lucky and kind of you know managed to turn around, but uh, apart from that, I think you're right. Yeah, I don't think you've really had any problems. Hmm. 
So we were talking before we started this whole trade fleet thing. I don't mm -hmm. think I'm going to get any gold mines. Do they have to have a gold mine to send a treasure fleet? That's actually something I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't think I remember hearing that. And I mean, classically, treasure fleets actually carried quite a bit of silver, I think. And okay. there are no, there's no silver resources in this game. Well, so my, I don't know. My, uh, my prediction is that it's because their capital node is my capital node that I'm right. not getting it. But maybe someone in the comments will know the answer. Who knows? Someone always knows. Or they'll like act like they know. Law of large numbers. And yeah, someone will think they know, but give you the wrong information. Oh, that's, that's perfect. That's very dangerous. You have a vassal way over here, Ryan. Who is it? Krakow. Uh, really? Cusco. Yep. Oh, Cusco. Yeah, I have a vassal in Cusco. I don't remember why. I loaded it up today, and I was like, man, why did I take all these vassals? That was not... <laughs> he's just a one. He's a one a province idea. vassal. Yeah, we're just chilling uh, here. I'm like, oh, oh, who's this guy? Oh, wait, nope. All right, never mind. I don't fully recall why I why I did that. No, eh, don't don't question it. I'm sure it was the right decision. <laughs> sure. In the moment, yeah. All right, time to use my mystical ledger and oh, see yeah. how many troops I need to commit to this. And Ashanti wow. got bigger last time. I forgot. It is so expensive to raise tariffs. Is that new? No, it's just, oh, it's yeah. just, it's 50 administrative points. My gosh. And it's what, 25 to reduce them, I think? It's like different. Oh, I'm not doing it. No, it's not going to matter. No, it's it's too much to do it. Like, they'd have to be making just an absolute crap ton of money <gasps> for me to even consider it. It's 100 administrative to decrease tariffs. Whoa, Jeez. okay. That's different. I think it used to be like 25. Maybe yeah. both ways, actually. You can see how often I play colonizers. That, like yeah, I enjoy it, before but the changes. Yeah, I remember long, long time ago when EU4 first came out and you could colonize and just it was your land. That was a, a good time. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I think I'm sending a fleet of transports on a suicide mission. I hope no one minds. I've been playing too much Kerbal Space Program, so it just comes like, oh, second yeah. nature now. <laughs> I keep wanting to go back to that and play through career mode. Yeah, but I'm, now I'm that afraid. it's not as sandboxy, I, I would be excited to go back, even though I know that there's... And I don't mean to insult these people, but it is annoying when you're like, I'm going to experiment and have fun uh, trying to get to space like a, a got childlike wonder about it. And people are like, oh, your apoptosis or apoapsis <laughs> is not like angled correctly, blah, blah. And you're like, oh, come on. That's <laughs> why I didn't want to do it for a really, really long time. But when I started the series, I like, I, uh, I like told people quite insistently, like, listen, if I'm going to be playing this game, you guys can't be jerks about it. And so far, they've been really awesome. Like that's, not, that's awesome. not being spoilery. And also, like, you know, giving useful tips. Like, okay, just, just an FYI, when you do this, use this instead. It's like, okay, that's really useful. Thank you very much. And no one's being a dick about it, and it's been fantastic. So thank you for my viewers. You guys are awesome. How, how big is it? But when is it Ryan does solar it, system? treat him like shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's very similar to the actual Earth-like solar system, right? Right, so like, just, yeah, okay. <laughs> Hold on, um, hold on. Their planets, their planets are all like a tenth the normal size. They still have the same like gravity, so they're just more dense. But yeah, I'm sorry, this is mm -hmm. completely unrelated to Kerbal Space Program. Although I am interested, I just got a code for that as well. But um, check out my leader, like my actual country's leader, and explain to me what Prince. the hell is going on. <laughs> it should actually just be a symbol. The artist, the leader, formerly known as your name is just That's Prince, really man. Good. No, it, for me. I'm a noble republic, and it says Prince Regency Council. That's true. Yeah. So you should never have a Regency Council. How do I have a Regency you're Council? You're not ready. No, you're 46 years old. You don't have a Regency Council. But Your I'm name Prince is Regency Prince Council. Regency Council. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Why is the game breaking? Oh, that's fantastic. It's probably because it's been about a month, I'd say. That's... The game's just like, I can't. It's over. I can't even. But you're not, you're not at a Regency. Name. Yeah. You don't have a Prince. Regency Council, right? Open no, parentheses, I, mm, regency. Let, let me see. <laughs> can I declare war? I can declare war, so it's not about. I don't actually have a full-on regency council, but man, I just that is really weird. We've oh, broken sweet. the game, gents. It's awesome. Ruined. Well, yeah. Then we we load up next week, and you know, no longer is it created nations. Like we just have individual provinces with the same name as the ones that we created and spread across the entire world. That's how you know the series is over. <laughs> All right, there we go. Apparently, I'm subsidizing U.S. Columbia. They are colonizing. That's exciting. Free oh, colonists. Really that that was actually that was the other reason I wanted them. It wasn't for the treasure fleets. It was because I wanted more colonists. 
Right. Now, they do have a penalty to colonizing, right? But they still have colonists. Yeah, like, they, they have the normal... 25% slower or something like that? It's the normal settler chance to increase, but the growth... If you hover over um, in U.S. Columbia, I don't know if you want to actually come look at it, Choco, um, it has a growth rate modifier of 0.25x. So normally they'd grow at like 45 people per year, but instead they're getting 12. <laughs> yeah, okay. But they still have the normal growth from settlers, so it's still really good. Why does, why does Northern Lion find that so funny? I'd like to know. He's easily amused. He's just laughing. It's been Every once in a while... Right? Every once in a while, I think my internet connection is getting not so good, and you guys are becoming robotic. <laughs> Great. It's really good. Hey, so just, it's still the best EU4 episode we've recorded in, like, three weeks. <laughs> that it's is also true. true, yeah. I just pieced out of a war and took a province, and I just sort of did it blind. I was like, I only want this one province. It's fine. And I look, and I'm at exactly 100% overextension. Apparently, oh, I had a bunch of cores still making, and I just wasn't aware. And there's a place I can't core. Where is that? Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, and I had some very fuzzy notes from the last time we played. I don't know what they mean, but I'm trying to follow them anyway. I hate past mm. Northern Lion. Why did you put a missionary in a <laughs> province that isn't cored yet? It's just slowing me down. You probably didn't have the points to core it at the time. And then probably you. Right. And then after that, you were looking to. Uh, Convert stuff, and it was at the top of the list because it's low base tax, so you clicked it. That's what usually happens to me. Ooh, Mexico has left the coalition. I don't yeah. like this campaign, See, by the way. Mine too. <laughs> just, I'm just going to say it. I don't like it. Like, let's never do randomized countries again. I don't yeah, know. I'm liking it. No, no, no. I mean, <laughs> like, I mean not knowing where countries are. Yeah, no. Customized nations is fun, but not knowing where anything is is just... Ah. It's driving me nuts. At the very least, we should do the one where they... They name themselves based on their capital. So Huron wouldn't be where they are. They'd be like, what, what's Huron's capital? Mm. Let me find them. What a capital province. They are Piedmont. So Huron would have Huron's ideas, but they would call themselves Piedmont. Mm. It'd be easier to find. So yeah. yeah, just based on their capital, you'd be like, oh, yeah, I know where that is. You know, just based on some of the provinces. Anyway. That's just me complaining. That's what I do. Oh, that it's makes sense. You know, I can understand it. Let's see. Diplo, nah. Mercantilism, please. I wonder if they'll keep the colony going if I stop supporting them. Oh my god, my transport fleet made it all the way around uh, Africa without dying. It's amazing. How much money does U.S. Columbia make? Place your bets. Four uh, ducats a month. I was going to say 40, so I was pretty close. I mean, that there is a four in there. Yeah, exactly. It's true. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to cancel the subsidies, and hopefully they don't cancel their colony. What I was going to say was 4E, you know, like in the vicinity of four. Or fourth edition. Fourth-ish edition. It's a D&D &D reference, I'm assuming. Correct. All right. The worst edition. you got that. Yeah, the World of Warcraft edition. Yeah. I mean, it's a perfectly fine role-playing game system, but it's not D&D. &D. It's not even close to D&D. &D. <clears throat> no. I like 5th, though. We've been playing that a lot. I haven't seen 5th yet. Still Pathfinder, Master Race kind of guy. And Pathfinder's pretty good. I've never played a real campaign in it, but it is strong. Sure, you can come through. Bundelkhand, sure. Oh, that's a lot of... That's a lot of provinces to convert. Freaking, like, my empire has, like, 12 centers of reformation in it. I don't even know what that means, but it seems like it's not helping. Or it's super helping. But I guess if you want to reform. Convert, yeah. No, I'm still Catholic, I think. Well, maybe that's what you're doing wrong. <laughs> you can, suppose, if, yeah. if you somehow manage to get enough to convert the center of reformation, it will cease to exist forever. Get enough, uh, get enough what? Missionary strength. They oh, have like, okay. uh, they have like an innate minus 5% chance. So you need a lot to actually over, off, like offset that penalty. Okay. And actually, I think after like 30 or 50 years or something, that penalty might go away so that then you can convert them. I'm not sure though. Let's go it? find one. 
Uh, let's see. Missionary. No, actually, no. There is no timer on it. It's just like Rome, basically. Yeah. And he's like, yeah. just stack as many modifiers as possible. Get some cathedrals going on over there. I'm loving the name of the leader of Nizhny Novgorod right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> wow. Doge semen. <laughs> oh, come on. Musilovsky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's a totally, you know, a historical name. name right. Yeah, I'm sure. He was well, shall we name our, our new boy? <laughs> well, Seaman. <laughs> sounds like a great it's, name. It sounds like something you'd never want to order at a Greek restaurant right now. <laughs> it, it could be <laughs> like Semen, maybe. Well, there's no, like a, you know, Russian version of Simon or something is like Semin or, you know. It's probably yeah, something like that. We're all just being racist, racist, apparently. Let's go with that. I'm not that. suggesting it's racist. I mean, in the English language, that does look like semen. Mm -hmm. well, I wonder if, like, you know, Mike or Michael in Russian sounds like ejaculate. That, it's only fair, really. I'm sure there's <laughs> some like that, yeah. Wow, there's that classic story about the, what is it, the Chevy Nova, right? The Nova. And they were trying to go into uh, Spanish markets. And they were like, you can't, you can't use that name, Nova. It's not dirty. It just means it doesn't go. Oh, oh. <laughs> complete opposite of what it is. Oh, needs yeah, to do. Nova. Okay, I yeah. get it. I'm proud of myself. Uh, it reminds me of the Coca Cola one. I can't remember oh. the things off the top of my head. I'll just have to Google it real quick. Coca Cola translation Chinese uh. error. All right, here it is. Okay, so they, they, they just did like the. They initially translated it into a product for a Chinese market, and it meant bite the wax tadpole. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That was what they went into the market advertising. Be a great name for a band. That really would be, yeah. And they only played Dio covers. <laughs> Actually, you go stand there. You ships get together. Let's get together and defend our trade. Anytime you all want to start jumping out of the coalition against me, I'm, I'm a okay with that. Maybe you stop being such a jerk. Hey, man, it's been peacetime here in, in my world for a while. Hmm. Thing is, what you should do is target whoever's going to join the coalition next and just full annex them. Just destroy them. And then just, you know, you you just chain it out, basically. Now, everybody who wants to be in the coalition is in the coalition right now. Oh, okay. Well, then you can't do anything. Nope. Uh, Quill, is there any way to know what side of a province a port will be before you colonize it? Ooh, uh, that's a good question. Mm, I you guess just come not. Look, look, look at Panama. Yeah. I have no yeah. colonial range in South America because all these damn ports... Chorotega, Veraguas, and Panama are all on the northern part. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. So, I, like, I can't colonize. Um, what is it called? Colonial. I suspect, Peru? first of all, almost all of them will be on sort of the northern or eastern side, just because that's probably where the ports would have been historically. I mean, just looking at the tooltips of the thing, and no, I'm not seeing anything that in indicates which side to be on. Hmm. I almost feel like it should count for colonial distance on both sides. It's not like they can't put a boat out outside of the port. Yeah. The whole province is owned by the country. They could, you know, just run some canoes out there or something. Seems like it worked for me. Seems reasonable. 64. Right. I can't that. All right, can I pause for just a second before yep. the game crashes? Because I, I need to do this. Uh, oh, American Brazil. No, U.S. I want, I want to follow the same convention that I used. U.S. dash. All right, because so you have U.S. Colombia, now U.S. Brazil. Plus, it's easier yeah. to see on the map. So, do you get your treasure fleets? Uh, that's a great question. Let's find out. I see nothing on the subject's interface. I've actually seen it before. There's, like, this little bar that goes up on the subject's page, so I don't think I'm getting one. It might just be that because my capital is in the New World, I can't right. get one. Although... I've read that it's supposed to just be if your if your capital is downstream of their capital that you get them. But but maybe maybe you do have to have uh, maybe they need a gold province or a silver province. 
Is silver a resource in this game? Whoa. Silver? I think so. Okay. <laughs> that robot scary right? Maybe came maybe out of nowhere. It might just be <laughs> iron. Iron and copper. I don't yeah, think I silver don't, is. I think you're right. I can't think of any silver. Doesn't mean I mean, it doesn't exist, but I can't. I think when you uh, click on a gold province, I think it says like gold and silver. Oh, okay. Just like precious metals. Yeah. Let me check. I could have just called the precious metals, but I guess it'd be a lot less fun. Oh, there's my bark here. Oh, it's called, yeah, it says gold, but then in the tooltip, gold and silver were the basis for all formal currencies in Europe. Yeah. Cool. Well, Mathis is, um, you know, he's he's new to YouTube, so he can only upload 10-minute videos. 15? <laughs> um, 15 minute? 15? God. <laughs> Get it right. But yeah, I'm ready to wrap it up if you are. Okay. Poor Mathis. All right. Well, sweet. If you guys, uh, we're going to end it here. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more EU4 in the future. But for now, we're going to uh, get out of here and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, uh, check out the ViewSync link as well. I noticed I was on the subreddit, a Roomba subreddit, and they've been doing a good job of keeping that uh, updated. Anyway, we'll see you. Bye. Bye-bye. See you soon.